We are back at Americade, riding with Craig Haynes. We're about to go ride at Andorandex. It's some twisties. It's some beautiful sight. A beautiful day. Sun is out. Very little clouds. Very little clouds. I mean, compared to what happened last night. Trying to get to the Adirondacks, and it's kind of packed today compared to the last couple of days. And these riders in front of us, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know why that guy riding someone on the back because he do not have control of that bike and he got a Valkyrie too. Yep. I don't know. We'll follow you. <laughs> so turn right? All right. No, that one says dead end. So we'll go to the next one and turn right. All right. Yeah, cause I, I I don't know what to look at on this this map. I don't want to ride next to that cat though. He's stumbling with that thing. I right, getting our Willie Nelson on on the road again. <laughs> Going a little further north. Look at all that beautiful. They got a swimming area right there. So we're going up to the town of Hague. And then we're gonna turn inland. But let me, I might pass it up first to see if there's another route instead of turning inland right there. What I put a blinker on, I'll try to look for something else. Yeah, we're gonna go north of that. And then come back down. Let's see. Instead of taking eight, we we'll go uh -huh. north of it a little further higher up. So we're gonna pass up Hay and then go around and see where it brings us. All right, I'm on with you now. All right, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> We're out here riding in Lake George. We Craig Hangs work in the middle. Rich got fleeing. I'm in the back. Tail gun. Yeah, baby. And it is beautiful so far. Nice, smooth, easy ride at Adirondacks. Yes. And loving it so far. So. What we done is decided to find our own route. Apparently, right. apparently, so there's a lot of other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Instead of going with the route that uh, America had suggested. Yeah, they had guided and unguided routes. Yes, but I found this on my go-to if I can't find anything else. And that's MotorcycleRoads.com. And I think we missed specific turns but now that I'm looking at my map we're not going to just turn and hey could be coming up to Silver Bay right now we're going to pass Silver. Hague up probably go I think 20 to 40 miles and then turn back inland or okay. left I guess you can say but so, so we are doing a loop right yes okay but so far it's been excellent riding excellent company we had a great time with him yesterday just hanging out enjoying the day and i had an opportunity <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> to ride let me tell rich Go had ahead. an opportunity because he was just so heartbroken when he got to the <laughs> honda shut up <laughs> <laughs> to the honda <laughs> to the honda demo ride truck trailer right that all the spaces was gone for the to ride the gold wings so I was signing them up to ride the Rebel 1100. Yeah. Boy, that man threw a hell of a ride no Rebel. <laughs> I said, no, I said, I said, you called me over here to ride a Rebel? No, I'm good. And the lady would say, no, it's a 1100. I like, I ride a Gold Wing. I'm a Gold Wing people. Now, I know the Rebel 1100 is a great bike. What? My thing was, you wanted to just ride a DCT. Yes. So that's what the Rebel was. 1100 DCT. No, 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 no. Come on now. Yeah, it is yeah, not yeah, the yeah, Gold yeah. Wing DCT. Yeah, 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 yeah. So everybody wanted to ride a Gold Wing and she tried to put me on a Honda Rebel so DCT. Craig, Craig said, well, my bike is a DCT, bro. Man, you can ride, you can ride my bike. Right. I'm like, all right. Now, you know he took the people <laughs> Indian out. The Roadmaster, I rode the Roadmaster. The road, he rode the Roadmaster, the Indian. And got lost. Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> I'm watching the same bike, four people, four different people 
took a same bike out and came back with no rich. Hey, I'm just saying. Rich was gone. They did, they did, they did. When I part. got back, the guy was just smiling and everything. I said, hey, I got lost. He said, it's not a big deal. A lot of people get lost. <laughs> yeah. But it, they it thought was a Rich stole their bike. Rich got their bike. <laughs> but I'm sure they got GPS on those. Yeah, they would have came picked it up. Bikes. They would have came. They probably would have stopped it. <laughs> Hit that kill oh, switch. Oh, no, I did. I, I, I think I did tell you. I got so lost, I stopped the police officer and said, hey, this is a demo bike. <laughs> I'm trying to get back. He said, you head in the right direction so and then after a while when i got back down to the flatlands i still couldn't find out which where to go because i started riding in the hills and i didn't see any other bikes because remember it wow. wasn't as much people that were here today when i done the demo ride so i just kept right. going in circles and trying to find out where i could turn around and all this stuff and then i finally seen that parking lot and asked the guys hey man where's the demo at <laughs> he said make a u-turn Turn right and you'll see where you bring the demos back. I said, all right, cool. And I told oh, him, I told him, I'm lost. I, I thought I said, why are Rich coming from the opposite direction? Right. From all the demo riders coming up. Rich coming down. Oh Lord, he done got lost. Okay, that's enough of that story. But anyway, you badgering me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Craig let him ride his bike. Yes, yes, now, yes, yes, yes. Craig said, okay, Cake, I guess we're going to walk around for about three hours till <laughs> Rich come back. I said, I guess so. Well, let's see how it goes. I really, and, really and enjoyed that bike. I mean, I, you know, I was kind of saying, let's go see if it's all what the DCT riders, the owners saying, because they're just trying to justify spending that money. Well, I'll be one of the people that justify spending that money, because when it's time for me a new bike, I am definitely getting it. And I was talking about, I know Craig got his, GB Ringing it has a DCT, and now Tony Reno has a DCT. Right. And I was saying, okay, Maybe it's time for me to step up, but I'm not going to step up now when it's time for me to get a new bike. I'm just not ready for a new bike. Now, right. one thing I can truly say for me, since I'm a gold wing rider, that DCT is a fantastic, fabulous bike, but it does not. I'm going to put that out there. You, anybody can debate it if they want to because I've been riding this for quite some time. It does not make these bikes obsolete. This bike is still as agile. And I mean, I feel my gold wing i mastered it and you could see and with if the video hadn't been already played when i got on a dct how i stumbled out the lot because i was reaching for the clutch scared to put my feet up yeah, oh nice yeah, that, view yeah oh my goodness wow 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 down close to the lake hey we should take a dip and that is lake george and to the right people who who got in dct talk about how it makes the other bike is it's the other bike is clumsy no this bike is nimble if you know how to ride today is nimble. Junction 8 coming up. I might Copy that. I might take 8 or pass it. Whatever you do, we follow. Okay, remember? I'm gonna take 8. <laughs> Let me see what they say. Yeah, Brian Lake, 12 miles, because that's that's the lake, the name of the loop that we ride. Anyway, I'm gonna turn okay. off for right now and put it when we get somewhere else. Bye bye. Yeah, we starting to get some of them fall colors while we're riding in here. I've still got lead and I heard oh that's nice. Fall colors right there. I mean they they're not blooming like we were the first time we was out here. Well, we weren't out here, but you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. And one thing I heard about riding in Anirondacks, that the road surfaces are spectacular. They were not kidding. Smooth road, like they just take care of their stuff, I guess. Smooth road, nice big sweepers. Haven't had any hard twisties, not yet anyway. But, uh, you know, I'm sure if we stay here five more days, we can find a lot more roads, a lot more beauty. I was thinking about riding up to Lake Champlain, but I really want to continue our westbound trek so we can get our last corner. Look how beautiful this is. It is not even full bloom yet. Look at this. Woo, come on, California. You got to get with it. <laughs> a nice long sweep but let me stay on this outside ah, there go the exit right there anyway i'm getting off are we on the right track
we riding the Adirondacks with Craig Hainsworth cake and we're gonna be pulling over at this view spot in a quarter mile which look like we're coming up on it right now and I'm slowing down so they can catch up copy me cake copy me pulling over right here a lot of people here so be careful dude don't you see me coming There you go on that beautiful DCT right there. And Cake pulling up the rear. Would have had a better turnaround if it wasn't for this big old bus right here. All right, we're going to get off for a mile, a minute and stretch our legs. All right. Ooh, look at that view. Look at that view. <laughs> There's a world famous Craig Hanger right there. A couple of bikes pulling out. Cake. Lookout point. And this is why you ride the Adirondex. Look at this. That's Lake George. Yeah. We're just going to stretch our legs for a couple of minutes. And then uh, get back going. I got to look at the route because I don't remember the route. <laughs> That's all right. We still have about a full tank we could get some stuff going.